as cases of mpox increase on the continent, the Africa CDC has vowed to supply 10 million doses by 2025, while the countries affected increase their vigilance around the disease by focusing on surveillance, prevention and community engagement. And as the rest of the world fights to avert an avalanche of cases spreading, other countries, including Sudan, are battling another outbreak, that of cholera. The situation has become dire in the northeast African nation, where the population is suffering from the fallout of catastrophic floods and a 16-month conflict. Here is our cover report. This centre, set up in Goma, is unusually busy. Patients from the region and beyond have been crowding the centre with symptoms of the Mpox virus. According to the Africa Centre for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, under the African Union, to date, 3,101 confirmed and 15,636 suspected cases have been reported from 12 African Union member states, resulting in 541 deaths, a fatality rate of 2.89%. The hardest hit country, the Democratic Republic of Congo, where the new clade 1B strain was first detected in September 2023, has reported 1,005 cases, which is 222 confirmed, 783 suspected, and also 24 deaths in a week. All 26 provinces in the DRC, home to some 100 million people, have reported cases. We are trying to control the situation a little. As we are seeing the sick people, these are the sick who came to us barely two days ago. We have already established treatment, their management according to the national protocol, the treatment of which is still symptomatic. More cases have been reported since the beginning of the year than all of 2023 that saw 14,383 cases according to the Africa CDC. The first cases of the Mpox virus outside of Africa were also recorded in Sweden and Pakistan. The WHO will soon publish its first emergency committee recommendations and along with NGOs has also called for ramping up vaccine production. But indeed, this past week, the Director General of the World Health Organization declared a public health emergency of international concern, which definitely does mean that MPOX is a concern of ours that we have been and will continue to monitor and track really closely. Effective surveillance, effective contact tracing alongside robust risk communication and community engagement, those are the best ways to control the spread of MPOX, both within countries, but also across borders. Mpox is a viral disease that can spread from animals to humans, but also human to human through sexual or close physical contact. Symptoms include fever, muscular aches, and large boy-like skin lesions. And as the rest of the continent and global health bodies rushed against time to find vaccines to avert the spread of Mpox, Sudan was grappling with a problem of its own. Doctors and patients were seen here scrambling at a hospital in Wad al hulewa locality in the eastern Sudanese state of Kasala, where Sudan's health ministry declared a cholera epidemic after weeks of heavy rain in the war-torn country. The problem in the area is that the vast majority of residents rely on river water as a source of drinking water, whereas it is polluted and needs treatment, and this requires volunteers to treat the water. The humanitarian crisis from the civil war in Sudan is also exacerbating infections including cholera and the bacterial disease has killed over 300 people in the region. We are seeing reports of cholera, measles, malaria, dengue, meningitis from several states. So far we've had 11,327 cholera cases reported from 12 states with 316 deaths. Now the reporting is slow. Uh, so we expect that there is more than that, but that's what we've had reported. Access to health care has been really constrained due to the insecurity, so we also want to see the, um, the violence and the conflict stopping, and we're seeing 
uh, many, many attacks on health care. The army-aligned government blocked aid deliveries in February through the Adre crossing into territory controlled by the RSF, alleging it was being used for weapons deliveries. Global monitors say that across Sudan, half the population of about 50 million face food insecurity. Africa Bureau, we on. World is one. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.